Hey guys, it's your boy Fisk on here today, and we're going to talk about the new friends list in Star Citizen. A welcome change, I'm sure, for many of you, myself included. First, we'll quickly cover what the original setup for friends is. The original setup for friends was designed with three different databases. Man, that must have been fun to adjust, Lamau. <laughs> oh no, did I really just say that? Well, anyways, one for Spectrum, another for the game, and lastly for the website. The website is the place you go to pledge and access account information, and a plethora of other things can be found there. Spectrum is the forms. You can find everything there. You know, your average forms, right? Lastly, the game. We all understand that one. In addition to having your friends mismatched across platforms, you couldn't necessarily see what everyone was up to. That has all changed, and rightfully so. So, what is coming with Unified in 3.9? These are the features in 3.9 PTU now. A short list, but a simple and much needed feature, so it is to be expected. Immediate adding of friends across platforms. If I add you on Spectrum and you accept in-game, it is immediate. I will see you in my list in-game and my list on Spectrum as well as my account tab, though that seems to be changing as seen here. I have tested this while in the PU and surprisingly enough it added my friend to the game's friends list and the Spectrum list. Due to the PTU being a test universe, the Spectrum will not update the game list, but this is understandable because of how PTU access works. Though I'm still surprised that I was able to see my friends on Spectrum that I added while in my PTU account on the Star Citizen's main menu. Location updates across platforms. As in, are you in the PU? The game? Spectrum? Where you at, Holmes? I have seen the location feature working in-game at the moment, though I have not seen any location information from Spectrum's friends list. Perhaps they are waiting for live, or I just misunderstood the intent. We'll have to see. Alright, that can't be it, right? Well, you're correct. There is more planned, as always, with Star Citizen. Further updates to the location. For example, if you are in the PU, it will say so. That is a current feature. But even deeper than that, if you are in the PU Crusader on Hurston, it will tell you as such. So watch out, streamers, because it just got easier to catch you. Perhaps a way to hide your location will be added, or tiered friends like acquaintances and etc. Understand that, at the moment, locations will only update with whether you are in the PU or not. It will not yet list locations, but during Alpha 3.9 Pillar Talk, it was specifically stated that was the intent. In addition to this, it was stated that the Unified Friends List is a starting point for the social management tool in Star Citizen. The biggest thing mentioned was this tool would allow for orgs to organize call etiquette in-game, as in commanders can talk to the captain, who can talk to the pilot, and so on and so forth through their org's specific chain of command. So this is a tool that would be utilized and organized by your orgs and not set up by Star Citizen itself. The last thing I would like to talk about is what I would like to see with this friends list. If you have any ideas yourself, drop them in the comments and on Spectrum. Firstly, a block option. I'm sure it's in their list, but that would be lovely. A tiered friends option. Not everyone in space needs to know everything about me and primarily my location. This is just a quick thought, but essentially something where one is an acquaintance or a friend. Based on the tier, they gain access to certain information. You could replace tiered friends with the option to give access to information on a per person basis, but I'm lazy. I'd rather throw you in a list and have it set so you can't see nothing. A previous party window would be nice, a place to see who you were in a party with last to add them to your friends, or maybe a came within so many feet of these individuals. I bring these last two up to make adding people easier. Maybe even an interact option on player characters, though they could just add that within so many feet section in the comms portion of the Moby Glass. Who knows, these are just my thoughts. Flesh them out or come up with your own down below and let me see y'all's genius. Alright guys, for those of you who made it to the end, thank you. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, to those of you who wish to grow on YouTube, I'm affiliated with TubeBuddy. If you follow the link below and install TubeBuddy, you can help me out and help yourself out for free. Catch you guys in the next one.